Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to point out a couple things that Donald Trump does in his swing and a couple things that Bryson does in his swing that make them the golfers that they are. So what I did here is I drew a line up the club shaft for both golfers and from the golf ball to the middle of the right shoulder. As you take the club back, we're just going to go halfway back for both golfers right here. So halfway back, you see Bryson's clubs right here. And when we look at President Trump's swing, he's going to be a little more inside. So when you're halfway back, and his is really out of the picture here, when you're halfway back, I want the club to be up and down through the same point on a backswing, downswing after impact. In this video here, they're not straight down the line. I would like, honestly, for the club to be between the lines in both of these golfer swings. They're a little bit different because their setup's a little bit different. But when you see Bryson come back through impact, as he turns back down, the club comes back through the same position roughly that it was on the way back. When President Trump comes back through, he's in quite a different position. So basically, this is the margin of error that he has, and Bryson's is all still in the same place. Obviously, this is why he's more consistent. When Bryson takes the club back, you can see he's got a lot more extension when he's halfway back. The extension in the golf swing is one of the most dynamic things you can do to create power as you go back and through. However, when we take those lines away and we see where both of these golfers are when they're halfway down, they're in a very, very similar position. This is what makes President Trump a consistent golfer, even at his age. He loses a little bit of power because he's not getting that full extension on the way back, but because he gets in a good position on the downswing, he's able to repeat the swing over and over. He's swinging from an inside path. He's still creating a lot of power. Despite not creating the power on the backswing, he's holding on to the power that he created through impact because he's moving from an inside path. His right elbow is close to his side. As you see, when they're at impact, Bryson's club shaft is much back to where it was at setup. President Trump's is a little bit higher, and this makes him a little more inconsistent. It's tougher to keep the club square as you turn through. But both of these golfers, as they turn through, their weight goes to the heel of the left foot, and this creates a really good rotation so they're able to use the big muscles in their body to get through impact in a good, repeatable way.